25th anniversary. Um, <laughs> You're an amazing chef. <laughs> everyone welcome so we've got Walt Disney Studios Park behind us which is going to be the home of Disneyland Paris Pride 2022 when you can see people starting to queue already the event starts at 8 p.m. tonight it's currently about 7 30 p.m. I think they've been allowing people into the parks from around 5 or 6 p.m. onwards if they have a ticket for the event which I have it here with me they did specify that you need to have it printed in order to be able to get in and I think they give you a wristband so yeah beautiful day as well it's like 25 degrees right now 7 30 p.m. Wow this event marks Disneyland Paris Paris, a second ever official Pride event with the first one being held in 2019 and this is actually the second ever official Disney Pride event worldwide. Disneyland Paris is so far the only Disney park that has hosted a Pride event officially and I was very lucky to have been here for the 2019 event, the first ever Pride and I do have a vlog of that as well on my channel if you want to check it out after you watch this one of course but yeah let's head inside the park and see what's to come. You can see the sign over there officially for Disneyland Paris Pride event over here I believe is the entrance to go in and thankfully already it seems a lot more organized than previous Disneyland Paris events I've been to I mean just going in seems to be quite effortless not a lot of queuing not a lot of hassle you just show your ticket and check your bag and then you're in just bumped into the lovely what's Denise? your name Denise Richard whereabouts are you from Vienna Vienna Austria. Austria how amazing is that and they're going to pride as well yeah. are you excited yes very how incredible very are the outfits as well look at it <laughs> so awesome well yeah. thank you guys thank, thank you for you saying so much. thanks for watching the videos they're we amazing the videos. amazing oh the videos thank you thank you it means a lot that was lovely and we are officially through more or less i think we've gone through the security area where they just wanted to make sure more than anything that we don't have any alcohol on us they literally asked if they could have a look at my bottle of water to make sure it's not alcohol which does make sense considering the type of event that this is and now i think it's just the ticket checks over here which doesn't look to be too busy and then we should officially be inside the park merci merci so we've had our ticket scanned now and I think this is where we have our bracelets collected. So say goodbye to this hand as it is. We're going to have a blue bracelet on it in a second. Bonsoir. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, there we are. What the hell? That was so easy. That was so nice and quick. Oh my God. It's only still 7.30 p.m. Like 7.33 maybe. And we're about to go in. And the gates are actually open for us with this little sign here that says Disneyland Paris Pride to welcome us in. Oh, oh guys, I am so happy. This is my first ever Disney event since before the pandemic. And it's just, hopefully it's going to be an amazing night. What an amazing way to celebrate Pride as well. There were loads of people taking photos with their incredible outfits right here at the entrance before the studio's walkthrough area. I'm just wearing my t-shirt from the 2019 Pride over here that was given for free to people who attended Disneyland Paris Pride event in 2019. But yeah, the program for tonight looks to be very, very fun. There's going to be some performances by a few different artists, including Mika, which I'm very excited to see. Just bumped into two of my lovely viewers again, Charlie and Josh. They're ready for Pride and I have come into the store in Studio One. Looks quite busy because they've got a few new merchandise items for Pride that I thought I'd show you. Namely, these Pride lounge fly bags that were released literally today in all the Disney parks, I believe. Um, it says Disney Parks Lounge Fly officially. It's got this heart as a pocket. Very, very cute. And then look at the pride detail over here. And they've got the Mickey ears as well. I really like them. They're very chic with a bit of color. And then, of course, we've got Spirit jerseys. Now, this one I'm quite tempted at. Not going to lie. They're very, very cool. Let me show you the back. Oh, this is, there you go. The back of these Disneyland Paris with the pride colors. Looks awesome. Really, really cool. They seem to have quite a lot of stock as well. This is a size medium. The one I've just uh, showed you. They seem to have quite a few mediums, larges. There you go. Might have to pick up a large for myself, not gonna lie. Look at Mickey's, look at his face over there, so cute. They also have a pride towel here by the looks of it. And then these mugs that say, belong, believe, be proud. I love them. And then we've got the Disneyland Paris sign on the back official to Disneyland Paris which is very very cool you can see this middle section is quite popular you can get the statue of Mickey with the pride colors Disneyland Paris pride figurine Mickey Mouse for 359 euros pretty cool some more lounge flies over here some keychains as well with the Mickey pride logo over here as well as these which I think Disneyland Paris sold last year as well in June of last year these are five euros 
very very cool and then they're also selling some of the pixar pride merchandise here this one's cool with the luxor ball really cute and of course the spirit jersey is being modeled behind it and then over there i've just spotted some more spirit jerseys so there seems to be quite a lot of stock actually and i'm guessing they're going to keep selling these for a while until they sell out so don't worry if you're coming here in the next few weeks you might be able to still get one and then these have recently come out as well these are cute the disney pride collection quite similar to the ones i'm wearing now but these ones uh, aren't sparkly and they're blue instead with this denim blue and a pride rainbow bow which is cute i personally don't think i need another pair of ears to be honest i quite like the ones i have on my head right now so i'm just gonna go and pay for the spirit jersey which i'm not even gonna wear now i'm probably gonna wear it later on in the evening this event is on until 2 a.m uh, at the moment it's still too hot for a spirit jersey but later on it might get a bit cooler so i'll put this on well spirit jersey has been purchased bien merci beaucoup spirit jersey is purchased and i already see a little queue for something i'm not quite sure what this queue is for oh. There's going to be quite a lot of queuing probably tonight, that's just the way it is with uh, Disney events. My goodness, I just spoke to somebody in the queue, this long queue, and asked them what they were queuing for and they said... <laughs> basically they're selling like Pride, Disney Pride um, tarpaws or flags if you like. Basically it's like a little, little merchandise stand. Just over here, which has a few more things than that you can't find maybe in the main shop, it's just over here. And this is literally what people are queuing for. And I think the flag is the main thing. but. Honestly, if I remember correctly, they were selling the same flag last year in 2021. So, I don't know, not too exclusive in my opinion. But you can see some people have them just over there. They're pretty cute. And I just bumped into the lovely... Hi, Sam! <laughs> we're both Sams. Are you excited for this event, Sam? Yes, it's super fun. And look at her outfit. Pretty cool. Really enjoy it. Thanks for saying hi. Thanks for watching the videos. And it seems that people are also queuing here for one of the Pride events that's going to happen. I want to say maybe at 8.30 p.m. I'm not quite sure. But there's a screen over there as well. They also have set up the stage over there. I'm looking for you all day. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely to meet you. What's your name? Yeah, Eve. Yes, didn't your friend meet me? Someone called Debbie? Yes. Debbie. Yes. yes. Oh, cool. Yes. Yes. She talked me about it i just met the lovely eve hi we're matching with with our ears yes and very cute eve, you're from oh my god can i see your tattoo as well yes whoa whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, look at one. that very similar just different oh, places yes. sorry i was the yes. one not no no worries where are you from eve the netherlands netherlands big shout out to the netherlands are you excited yes. tonight yes very excited i'm really curious it's my first event here so. really well, i hope it goes well so far it feels like the organization is a bit better than previous events i've been to so Let's, let's have our the, fingers the crossed. going in was quite smooth. Well, exactly. I expected that's it to one be thing. worse. It, yeah, but it was thing. really smooth. Yeah, same. Yeah. I, I thought it was very smooth as well. well. Thank you so much, Eve, for saying hi. You're welcome. Thank and look you for saying again. hi. Bye. Yes. Bye. Bumped into the lovely Mickey and Erin. Look at them. Oh, look at their amazing outfits. There is the hat over there. Very, very cool. You're excited <laughs> for Pride, guys? Yes. I'm really excited. So excited. Also, they both vlog as well. Yours is called Mickey Joe Theatre. If you love theatre, check him out. And Erin James. Yeah. That's it, you on YouTube. <laughs> you do mainly theatre and Disney yeah. as well. Uh, amazing, and we're just waiting for the parade now that should be starting in about 10-15 minutes, so looking forward to it. Well, it is basically 8.15 now, so I presume the parade should be starting soon. You can hear people cheering from time to time, just excited for the night. Looks like something's about to happen on the stage, which is set up over there, but thankfully we can see a screen of it right in front of us. And actually the parade, I thought it was going to uh, start at 8.15, but it's actually 8.45, so we're going to have a presentation first from Natasha Rafalski opening the ceremony at 8.30, and then we're going to have the parade later on. <laughs> Look at Edna Mode over there. Mickey and Minnie's outfits look really cute. Ooh, a bird that she just flew past me. I don't know if you could see it on camera, but yeah, uh, they're just over there. Dear friends, dear friends, in a few minutes to enjoy the Disney's colorful Pride Parade.
the parade. We thought it's the best place to come. There's loads of meeting greens, some rare ones around the park throughout the night. Hopefully, I'll be able to get at least a few done. Just promise it's a lovely. What's your name? Hi, I'm Tony. From Germany. Germany. And look at his amazing outfit. So, so cool. Waiting to meet Anna, El Centro, and, uh, and Christoph. Yeah. Amazing. Lovely to meet you. Thank you for saying hi. Also, lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. So, I'm just about to leave this huge queue because one of you guys actually, Eva, messaged me to say that apparently. Yeah, one of you messaged me to say that apparently it's not a meet and greet and it's like a selfie spot. And so I have come out to check if it is indeed just a selfie spot, just to double check. And then Aaron and Mickey, who are with me as well, they're, they're still in the queue so that in case we decide to still stay, I can go back and join them. If not, we'll go and find another character to meet. So thank you, Eve, actually, for telling me, letting me know that it was a selfie spot, that you've saved us some queuing because we're already in there for about 15 minutes before we realize this. So appreciate it. <laughs> um, already, yeah, already we're like, what is this? I know, well. I know. Not a very great start, but we're going to find another meet and greet now. There's something going on here in front Joy of Crush, so we'll see who is it. This is the Joy and... Joy and uh, Bo Peep. Joy and Bo Peep, they're cute. Whilst we're waiting in the new queue, I thought I'd show you our very pride-like shoes. I love the laces there, I love the colours there. Very, very cool. And this is the queue. Hopefully it won't be too long, but we shall see. And there is Crush that just went past. You love Crush, don't you, Aaron? Yes, it's really fun. I've never been on it until oh, this last week. No way! Yes, yeah, so, so much fun. So much fun. I, I will do crush every time because it's such a great ride, yeah. but it does make me feel like I'm nearing death <laughs> at a great pace. And Fair so, enough. It's not the sound of people enjoying themselves. <laughs> if they were having a great time, they'd be going, yay! They're screaming for not their life. Let me know in the comments whether or not you like Crush. And look who I've just bumped into. Hello. Hello! I used to work with these people ages ago. Which feels like 55 years ago. Yeah. Pre-pandemic was when we liked each other. Um, but are you having a good time, guys? Very yeah. good time. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. It's honestly a really lovely surprise. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing people. Thank you. We are now in a queue that has been estimated by a cast member to be about an hour long. It's up. Oh, I've never seen that. <laughs> the, the area over there for the meeting greets suddenly lit up, which is cute. Um, the estimation of an hour, it's either going to be Joy, could be Frozone. The cast member said Bonne Chance, so we never know who we're going to get. Um, but honestly, we haven't got much else to do anyway. It's about 10, 8, 10 p.m. now, or 10 to 10. And really, the main thing I want to do is watch Mika's set at 11.30 p.m. So before that, I'm just going to walk around, see which characters are about. The queues are going to be long. It doesn't matter. This is what this events are about, basically. It has been 20 minutes. It's now 10 past 10. We're still waiting in the queue, but Joy is now there. And yeah, we're still waiting, hoping that it's going to be Joy. It could be Frozone. Who knows? But the lovely Mickey has arrived now with some fantastic news. The news being these cute Pride Mickey cupcakes that have been released for the night. Very cute. Thank you so much, Mickey. Looking very cute. Got some... Um, a bottle of water as well. But really, this is a main event. How's the cupcake, Mickey? They're good. Is it good? <laughs> I like the shape, it's like a rainbow. Oh, very, 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 very pride, very in, in brand. Um, would you mind just quit holding the thing for five seconds? Thank you very much. How does one eat this with... Give me five seconds. Would you mind just filming yes. me? <laughs> Thank you. You can see what you're doing. <laughs> ah. Thank you. Big shout out to the lovely Erin for holding the camera momentarily whilst I take my first bite of this lovely, beautiful cupcake with these Mickey ears. Probably going to be messy. We saw what happened to the lovely Mickey over here. So... Good luck. It is very good. A lot of frosting, but it's colourful frosting. frosting, yeah. I enjoy it. Well done, Disneyland Paris. You can go. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> no, Mickey had a tip of the day. What was your tip? Bum bag. Bum bag at Disneyland Paris. It has all of my stuff in it. I agree, it's a good idea. Yeah. Because I carry my camera, I normally have to have a backpack as well, but if you're just travelling here for the lols, for fun, bung bag phenomenal, and then I said... <laughs> I don't know if I should repeat what I said. I, I said, it's good because it's almost like the bag is a part of you. It's almost like you're a kangaroo, and that's what caused the laughter. <laughs> also, whilst we're here, I just wanted to give a big shout-out to one of my lovely subscribers, Eva, what's her name? Evie. Ivy. 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 Um, who's made these lovely little... Um, bags of cuteness and pride cuteness and she gave three of them to me Aaron and Mickey so Ivy if you're watching this thank you so much it was really lovely to meet you and thank you for these you like you've made magic for us and um, it's, it's you know we're, we're at, it's, yeah so cute. Disneyland Paris magical night and you know made more magical by lovely people like Ivy thank you <laughs> I just 
slow when I try to start vlogging. We um, you can tell it's gone dark because it is now a quarter to 11. We've been in this queue for like the past hour, I want to say. Joy's gone, we've got Frozen. I'm a little bit nervous about meeting him. I just, I've never met him before and I just don't know what to say to the guy. I've told Aaron and Nikki that they're gonna go first, kind of calm the situation down a bit while I second relax and figure out what to say to him. Wish me luck, I don't want to say anything awkward. Oh, sugar plum fairy. Aaron and Nikki are off to meet Frozen. towards Toy Story Playland but not actually inside the Toy Story Playland on the right towards uh, Place de Remy Ratatouille Land because there's a couple, of uh, a couple of character meets apparently in there apparently Marie's in there doing a meet and greet as well as somebody else that I've now forgotten about oh yeah Remy of course so hopefully we'll be able to join their queues before they stop them that's one annoying thing about these events as well even though the event is on until 2am the character meets normally close at midnight and actually I was talking to a cast member and she said they're probably going to close at half 11 so we've got about half an hour to kind of find another character that we want to meet because they close the queues at 11.30 before midnight. Ratatouille Land looks really cute though in the dark. I wish this park was open late more often. I love it. We were, we were talking, Erin, Mickey and I, about how lovely this park looks with the kind of lights on and just everything lit up. And it's a shame that normally you don't get to see it in this way. It's so funny as well because Ratatouille, the ride, at the moment has a 10 minute queue. Five minute single ride, a 10 minute for regular queue because most people obviously are here for the characters or the shows the concerts rather than the rides but Edgar is meeting over there and this is the queue for him and I believe it's gonna get switched to um, Marie or somebody else so we'll see apparently Edgar oh. Oh. Huh? Is he meeting inside the restaurant? Maybe. Did you actually see him? Yeah, he's there. In the window. Why can't I see him? Oh yeah, I can see. Oh my god, that's cute. Oh guys, we're in the queue to meet Remy. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm, I'm happy about this as well. And apparently he's meeting inside the restaurant, inside Chair Remy, which will be very, very cute. Edgar is switching with Marie, so uh, all the switching, very confusing. We don't know if Remy's switching with anybody yet, but hopefully we'll get to meet him. That's, that's the one we want, right? Yeah, and hoping that we don't get stopped in this queue. I know, right? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Marie's just come out again. She looks really cute. Marie's cute. There used to be a time when you could meet her quite easily in Disneyland Paris. These days she's become quite a rare character. But um, yeah, it's nice that she's out for this event. Let me know in the comments down below. Who would you rather meet, Marie or Edgar? I'm not really familiar with There Is To Cats the film. It wasn't ever a film that I watched a lot as a child, so I don't really know much about Edgar. But he's also a very rare character, obviously. I think he's the villain from Aristocats. And then Remy, we're not sure if he actually switches with anyone, but the fact that you actually get to go inside the restaurant is just so exciting. I've not seen Remy in a long time. I think the last time I saw him was when I was here with my friend Amy, actually, back in 2018. So it would be cool to meet him. We've now come inside the restaurant. Apparently, it's a 15-minute wait now from this point onwards. So we might miss, miss the first half of Mika set, which is fine. It's pretty strange seeing this restaurant open for a meet and greet at this time of evening. There's Remy over there, really cute. And we should be meeting him, I think, in the next five or ten minutes. I am legitimately excited. I'm happy because this is a new meet. You've never met him before. And I've never been in here before. It's really cool. It's I'm, a lovely restaurant. I'm happy because he's the star of Ratatouille, the TikTok musical. Ooh, I've never seen it before. Mm, big stuff, big stuff. I need to watch that. I'm very, very excited. But yeah, really not long to go at all now. He's just over there. Hi, Ruben. So cute. Hi, Okay. 
Oh, look at the spatula that Mickey's holding. I love your restaurant. I've been here a few times. It's amazing. You're an amazing chef. So is it. But we know who's behind it all. <laughs> Should we get a good photo? <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Is it okay if we get one to eat together as well? Yes, yes. Thank you, Mummy. Bye bye. Yes. See ya. Bye. Thank you so bye much. Bye. You're the best. Bye, Remy. You're so cute. Oh, well, that was very cute. We are now making our way to the main stage to see Mika, although we've already had the rendition of Love Today from Everybody the lovely Mickey. Gonna love today. Gonna, gonna love today. today. Gonna, gonna love today. today. Everybody's gonna love today. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully we'll get to see at least some of his set. So there he is on stage. Mika, he's on the piano. I don't believe I know this current song that he's singing, but it's good to know that he's still on stage. I just wanted to make sure at least I get to see some of his set. <laughs> sont bonnes. Il n'y a pas de pluie. Il a fait chaud toute la journée. Mais maintenant il fait frais. Ladies and gentlemen, this song is called Ice Cream.
know exactly what I want. This tells I need to Disney Pride. Quand j'étais plus jeune, je pensais jamais qu'on aurait pu faire un Pride ici à Disney. Ça me chauffe le cœur que nous sommes tous là ce soir. Un, deux, un, deux, trois, quatre It's so cool to see Plaster and me so empty right now. As I said, it's about one o'clock and Ratatouille's queue time is at five minutes. Five minutes for single rider, five minutes, five minutes for regular queues as well. Amazing. <laughs> Ready for the right? Oh, I mean, my team. I'm immersing myself in the experience. Yes, we are in it. Yay! Here we are. That was literally almost a walk on, to be honest. Maybe three minutes max. We're on the front row as well, which is exciting. Let's go. I'm going to take my ears off, obviously. So, the people behind me, Uiri, works well. The people behind me can see. And we are off. Mickey loves this. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, hey, maybe the parachute jumps. Too much, Jeff. Oh, you did jump a lot. In yeah, it is scary though. At times, yeah. with the yeah, with the champagne great. bottle for yeah. sure, and then a couple of other times, it's quite an adventurous ride. Remy's. Uh, it's a sensory adventure, sensory adventure, sensory experience, as Mickey yeah. said. We're now coming into <laughs> Toy Story Playland. You can hear the screams from RC Racer. Another phenomenal ride here in Walt Disney Studios Park. Honestly, this is underrated, this ride, in my opinion. I think in some ways it's scarier than Tower of Terror. Slinky Dog is also going on. I love the music that they play in Toy Story Playland. Obviously because I love the Toy Story so much, and I feel like the score is one of the best in the Pixar universe. We were just taking a couple of photos, <laughs> and Miko just casually walked past us. I believe I believe he's gone in the queue to do RC Racer, but he was like, he had his camera out, didn't he? He was like, yeah, I think he was Instagramming or something. Is he there somewhere? The lighting, by the way, here is phenomenal. You don't want to do RC Racer, do I don't know if I want to do RC Racer, even <laughs> if Miko's <laughs> Even if Miko's on it. Right, okay, we're going to go on the parachute drops, but seeing Miko just casually walk past Toy Story Playland was something I never thought I would see, but it was very, very cool. Especially because we were in the middle of taking a photo as well. <laughs> parachute drops it is. It's currently got a 15 minute wait time or five minute single rider, but because it's only 15 minutes and it's Aaron and Nikki's first time, we're gonna do it together and just wait the 15 minutes. I do also wanna give a quick shout out to two of my friends, Amanda and Eddie, because last time I was here for Pride in 2019. Oh, they're going up. We basically did a similar thing. We uh, met some characters. We watched a little bit of Years and Years that performed that year instead of Mika, and then we just did Rise. We did Better Two, I think, with the Tower of Terror. We might have done the Aladdin's Carpets ride, and then we also did this ride, the parachutes, and it was a really, really great night. And this night has been also really fun. We're on the parachutes. Looking forward to the ride. <laughs> Ah, I, I think I think he's gonna enjoy it. Oh, yeah, of course. We're gonna put the lap bar down and pull on the thing to make sure that we're secure. Let's hope we are. <laughs> we are going from one ride to the other, the next one being Slinky Zigzag because it's a five minute queue and we've still got about 20 minutes before the park closes. And this is definitely a family friendly children's ride normally and even now you can see not a lot of the areas are actually full, maybe about three or four people on the ride and I feel like the next ride, which is us, is just going to be me, Aaron and Mickey because there's nobody behind us and yeah, it's going to be hilarious. One thing I will say about these events is that, oh my god, whenever I see RC Race it just goes so high up. It's such a scary, thrilling ride, it literally goes vertical. Yeah, one thing about these events is that there's Aaron behind me. Um, you kind of get, can choose what to do and I think one good thing about Pride is that because the characters stop uh, meeting at 12 o'clock, you've then got a couple of hours of not much to do unless you just want to kind of be by the dance area, by the DJ thing or drink. You can just go around and do the rides with hardly any, any queue times and that's definitely amazing. Alright, I've been told to lead the way. We're going to be on the very front. We get to choose where we want to be. Do -do 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 -do. Ready for this high adrenaline Yay. roller coaster experience. <laughs> Five of us at what is it, 10 to 2 or something in the morning? Yeah, something ridiculous. Yeah, it's yeah. 10 to 2. And we're on Slinky Zigzag and Toy Story Playland of all the rides. <laughs> Let's do this. It's not even like an after dark roller coaster. I know, right? Yeah, it's, we're fully on a children's <laughs> ride. But it will be fun still. now 
walking back to the production courtyard where they have a DJ, a little dance party going on here. The time, official time as you can see, is about 7 minutes to 2 a.m. So very soon the event will be officially finished. And I think I'm finished as well. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It's been, a, it's been an amazing evening, but uh, a little bit tiring as well at the same time but this is what it's all about you know there's the events you have a good time you get tired you queue for hours you're on your feet for hours and hours and hours but it's a great time and it's been really fun tonight it really truly has and oh my god look who we've spotted in studio one all the characters the fab five there's goofy there's pluto really really cute mickey's over there as well with mini all in their pride outfits waving everyone goodbye in a very dance manner I love it look at them pride is officially ended wow what a night and my ears literally just fell as well so cool look at the Eiffel Tower shining through at two and o'clock in the morning and then here we've got the entrance of Walton Studios Park, an incredible entrance. It's so cool to see this park open at this time of night. I truly hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's been an awesome evening, it really has. There's been some problems here and there, obviously, like when we first queued up for Anna Elsa and, and uh, Christoph, not realizing that it wasn't a meeting with things like that, you know, our long queues for uh, characters, thinking we're going to meet Joy, but then instead of meeting Frozen, and things like that, are things that, you know, have always been little problems with uh, Disneyland Paris' organization when it comes to events. But despite all of this, I had an amazing time, I really did. It was really fun to spend it with these two. Thank you so much for being here with me today. You really made it a lot more fun. So thank yeah, you guys. So fun. It, it was really fun. I lulled a lot, definitely lulled a lot. And yeah, we did Bryce, we watched Mika. He was amazing. Characters were good, the ones that we met. And that's basically it. That's the end of Pride. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked it, if you would ever come to Pride. Hopefully there'll be another one next year at Disneyland Paris. And yeah, follow me on Instagram for more photos, stories from the night and subscribe for more videos. And also make sure to watch my Pride video from 2019 if you haven't watched that. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!